The brutal murder of 19-year-old Colleen Slemmer created fear and speculation among students and staff Friday. The morning of Friday the 13th, police recovered Slemmer's tortured body behind the abandoned steam plant at the University of Tennessee. Within one day, they arrested Job Corps student Shadola Peterson to Daryl Ship and Krista Pike. She was the ringleader out of the bunch. Pike and Ship were in a relationship with each other and the occult and recruited other Job Corps students to Satanism. They wanted to sacrifice uh, someone to Satan. Pike targeted Slammer after the two had a run-in at school. There was two pentagrams carved on her body, one on her forehead and then the main one here. The victim's partially dressed body was found in this brushy area Friday morning. An autopsy confirmed she was slashed repeatedly with a meat cleaver and some other small cutting device, perhaps a razor blade or box opener. Authorities say she was then beaten over the head with a large chunk of asphalt from this pile. Tonight, myself and my friends from Black Mass Paranormal visit one of the locations where Krista Pike and her accomplices practice the occult. And we're even going to visit the house where they hid out until their capture. So join us as we investigate these locations of the Job Corps murders. some questions for us. We've got several different ways that you can communicate. Did you live on this property? Did you die on this property? Couldn't make out what she said. Mm -hmm. Could you repeat what you just said, please? Are you okay with us being here? Ooh. Does this graffiti bother you? It kind of sound like a no, but... Are you human? It just killed my freaking tablet. So his tablet just died. What are they doing with this tub full of water over here? That's fairly deep in there too. Yeah. There's something bad happened here. Did you drain the tablet? Do you not want me to see you? Yeah, his tablet just went completely dead. Fully charged, right? Fully charged. Yeah. 
it's been on charger all day long. So just to make it clear, we're not here to hurt you or, or try to disturb you. We just want to hear your story. Are you willing to talk with us? I have some bells hanging up. I have some bells hanging up. I have some bells hanging up. I said you're a freak. You know, I thought a freak is what I thought I heard. Yeah. At first, I thought free, but then I had a k at the end of it. Are you who are you calling a freak? Mm -hmm. oh. It was like a light that just appeared like right next to that bag. Huh. No, I, I was looking actually to the left because I heard something move. Yeah, look at the K2. K2's going off? Yeah. yeah, touch that little green light. That lets, you know, that lets us know you're here. And you can use the blue crystal to talk. Oh, there it went. you tell what that said? It's so fast. Like, is this yeah. female that talks to it every now and again? It's so fast. Maybe on the recorder's picked it up. And... Yeah. yeah, maybe we got on the recorder, we can slow it down. Yeah. If you understand what we're saying, touch the little green light for me again. This is how you communicate with us. I know that it's different, and I know that you probably haven't seen instruments like this before. But we made them, and we brought them just to communicate with you. They will not hurt you. They will not cause you any harm. Your laser grid went dead. That was something, and they come. Yeah. They'll come. Dude, my laser grid. Yeah, it, I watched it. I heard something move. And when you talked about the orb, something drew my attention to over here. And I just kind of sit here, and I've watched your laser grid just fade away. Hmm. So something's definitely messing with the batteries. Because yeah. trust me, guys, we don't come unprepared. We charge our stuff and put new batteries. Yeah. I actually just... As a matter of fact, I watched him put fresh batteries in the laser grid before we came in here and started this. So I can verify he took them out of the pack and put them in it just before we walked in here. And tell us what happened to you here. Can you tell us how many people are standing here right now? Come on, you did it already. Touch the little green light for me. It won't hurt you. It just lets us know that you're here with us. That was a weird metallic sound, wasn't it? What did this building used to be? <laughs> We've placed objects all around this for you to communicate with us. We'd have really appreciate it if you would you could ring a bell. Hello. As if you can tell what she's saying. And that's the same voice. Am I mistaken? 
there's a female here. You can ring one of these bells. Yeah, he's he's actually hung bells up. You can see it swinging right there in trees. And there's two on the other two trees over here. And there's two on the other two trees over here. And there's two on the other two trees over here. I just heard her faintly scream through that. Yeah. Can you tell me your name? Dude, I feel like something's over there. I know, I keep hearing stuff over here. I'm gonna... Is something holding you here? Is the wind blowing? No. Did you just see I this entire tree move? The whole tree move. I didn't touch it, did I? No, you didn't. This entire tree, guys, just like rocked from side to side. Because I was just like, wait, is the wind blowing? Yeah. No, you weren't anywhere near that tree. No. <sighs> There's been a lot of movement in here. I guess graffiti, yeah, there's spray can cans. There's what looks like rolled roof. I don't know what's that. I haven't actually been over here. Hello? Anyone here? You heard that? There's a rubber glove. Two rubber gloves. I guess they were using that to keep from getting paint on their hands. <laughs> okay, I'm in the laser grid now. Put fresh batteries in it. <laughs> oh, that scared me. What the fuck? I never heard you do that. I just feel like something's gonna come through this window. Which window? This this area here. Oh yeah. Say you're moving? Yeah, it did say moving, I thought. Okay. <coughs> uh, I know there's a lady here. We are definitely not gonna hurt you. We just wanna hear your story. That leaf is moving yeah. pretty. Look at that. Well, ain't nothing else moving. I don't know. Are you playing with that leaf? I mean, look at that whole thing moving. Yeah. That whole branch is moving. It's like somebody's messing. Yeah. Like yeah. plugging some. Are you doing that? Me. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. That was that female voice said me. Can you tell me your name? There's no wind blowing. No. Like look, look at these leaves up here. They're fine. But you got this one down here. Uh, something just yeah. moved right there too. Yeah. Where at? Uh, 
uh, that next branch over, where this, like, okay. right there, it, like, went like this. Mmm. Are you hiding in the tree from us? There's a bell right there, right behind that, that leaf. Could you, uh, maybe play with that bell? Back on the other yeah. side of the wall. Yeah. Get over here where I can see. Did something bad happen to you here? Did I say box? Yeah. Yeah, that's called the echo. Oh, did you see that going off? Yeah. Mm -hmm. K2's going off, guys. Can you make it go higher, please? Oh, I did. Thank you so much for communicating with us. We really appreciate it. If you understand me, light it up one more time for me. Thank you. Are you the female we keep hearing? Light it up for yes. You touch it one more time for me. Dude, I just had a black mass move up through that window. This one over here? Yep. Are you recording? Yep. Good. Guys, that will be in his video. I will have his channel linked down below as well as the video with the blood splatter. Actually, I didn't mention that yet, but when you guys came here before, you capture, you, you use the UV light. Yes, on the walls and there was stuff. There's blood everywhere, splattered all over the place. I mean, this is a well. Hello. What did I say? It said hello, did it? Yeah. Hello, can you tell me your name? But anyways, they caught blood splat. They saw blood splatter everywhere. They used the spray stuff too. I can't think of the name of it. I'm gonna do a little perimeter check. All right. We'll continue trying to communicate here. He caught a mass on the uh, infrared camera in this window. Yep, is that what this is? <laughs> Are you having a hard time communicating with us or you just don't want to talk to us? Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I 
we are like out in the middle of the woods, so. Can you tell us why you're here? What happened? Dude, I was looking directly through this, and all of a sudden you just see this thing come flying at me. Huh. Hold on. Let's see if I can figure out what this is. Pause it and play it. Yeah, I won't see this. Because I was, I was like concentrating on the freaking... See, I was like staring. Hold on, that was in there. Right there. <laughs> Dang, man. <laughs> It, like can't I didn't like I didn't feel any wind or anything like well if it's a bird you would have heard it yeah I'm gonna have to slow that down and see oh if I can get a temperature on that because that was crazy something just broke some twigs behind me yeah. yep I saw like a glowing Right well, to the left here. Did you hear that? I did. Wonder what's out here with us. You see it? Yeah, I see that. I think that's an animal. Is it right in here? Yeah. Or is it one of them cinder blocks holding heat? It could be a cinder block. Do you see it anymore? That's the hottest thing. Yeah. So that is... What? <laughs> Okay. I'm curious to see what that was that flew it at you, man. Cause it came like right at me. I don't, but I didn't hear or see no. or feel. Uh -uh. I was like concentrating so hard on this. I don't know. Dude. Crazy. Hey guys, so I'm walking <laughs> through this tree branch. I get yelled at. John, watch out. Look at this little guy. I'm going to zoom in because I don't want to get too close. 
Jacob, the carpet bagger? Is that you? <laughs> Dude, he about landed on your shoulder. <laughs> oh my god. He ran up that to hide from us. Yep. Poor little guy. Okay guys, Brian is headed down towards the So well, earlier we saw something in the water. And at first we thought maybe it was a beaver or something, but it was there it was again. It sounds like somebody's throwing rocks in the water. Yeah. But it sounded like it earlier and we saw this head swimming. Uh, and it was a big creature. As you see in my video, it's swimming around. We can't, he's going down with a thermal, see if he can see it. It's kind of sketchy going down through there. He's doing it anyways. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Can you see anything, Brian? I see it. I see it. I see it moving out there. It's going, it's crossing right in front of you right now. I just saw it go through the street lights. You can see street lights in the water. I can hear him. He says nothing off he said, guys. Okay, so he's he can see it on his thermal. I can hear him talking. Yeah. Um, definitely go check his video out, guys, and you know subscribe to him. These are good dudes, man. They do what I do, but they do it a little different, and and it's kind of cool. I heard him say it just disappeared. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. That was in a completely different spot, bro. I know. Yeah. There's no way that thing could have got from right in front of you to all the way down there. Yeah. That quick. Unless it's super fast in the water. Yeah. No, a beaver. I, that's great, but from a beaver can't swim underwater that fast. No, no, it's been up there for like hours. Yeah, it's been here since daylight, and that splash has been happening all day since we've been here. See, this is why I need to get a submersible drone, man. And this this needs an investigation, further investigation out on the water. Because that's not normal. And guys, I want to tell you something. There's something with this area. Because this is the same area where the Chupacabra was spotted. This is the same area. So there's something going on here. I don't know if it's with these rituals that's been happening. That's has, that has happened for years. Or what. But there's some, definitely some supernatural things going on. Here he comes. He's coming out of the woods. Man, if that thing would have came up out of the water after me, I'd have been screwed. <laughs> I'd say, you can't move fast and all that. That's thick. Yeah. Man, you're a trooper for going yeah. down in there like that. So, could you tell what it looked like? How big it was? Dude, it was long. It was a good, probably 10 foot long. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And the weird thing was, is there is there was a pocket of cold water. I could tell the difference in the water. Yeah. So when it was coming through um, and it hit that cold water, it just disappeared. Like, so on a thermal, if it would have hit cold water and it was some sort of just regular, you know, animal. It would have lit up red. Yeah, it would have lit up like a Christmas tree, <clears throat> but it didn't. It just disappeared. And then, like in a matter of seconds, about I would say a hundred yeah. yards from where you saw, just seen it disappear, yeah. yeah, it splashed again. Yeah, and not just a little splash. Like it sounds like somebody's yeah. throwing a freaking boulder. Yeah, like a good thirty-pound rock yeah. into the water. Dude, this 
this is going to be another video. <laughs> yeah. We got. Yeah, I got. We have, have to come back. We got to get on the water and try to figure out what's in there. Yeah, get a I submersible got, drone or something. Yeah, I got a boat. You got a boat? Yeah. Actually, well, I got a boat like right across the street. Well, guys, I work on a submersible drone, and yeah, yeah. there it went again. It just splashed. Guys, we'll revisit this part for sure. Okay, we're at the house. We have to go through. Oh wow, that's the house? Yeah. Oh geez, that's an old house. Oh man. Hey, is there anybody in here? We are just shooting a video. Um, we uh, are not looking to cause any trouble, uh, but we are armed. So it would be cool of you to let us know that you're here. What the heck was that? Dude, I don't know. I just saw a giant black mass. I saw it too. I don't know if I got on camera, but it went up into the attic. Did you hear that hiss? Yeah. Oh, there oh. goes our bike. Oh, yeah. That's a. Oh, God. I vulture. hate this place. There's vultures living in the house. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh. It's going to be interesting. Yeah. Let's see if I can light that Holy thing. Holy cow. <laughs> okay. Yep. Sorry, I'm usually not that big of a baby, but this place just gives me the heat. I'm, I'm just going to tell you right now, I can, just standing outside this place. Yeah. It's not a very good place. Is there any more of them in there, you think? I don't know. For well, this one, there's a bunch of them. And that means there's something dead around. Probably. Well, that's the thing is... They come out here and fucking do sacrifices and shit. So there's a good possibility that there's some sort of dead animal or something. Like that. that thing hissed at you, man. Dude, that scared me. Has it got a nest in here, you think? Oh, dude, do you hear that? Yeah. Oh, shit. Come on, dude. Get up there right now. That thing's up there. Yeah, it is. Thing's about to attack. It's got a nest in there, man. Yeah. Crap. Is that her garden? When I got close to it, it started hissing again. Yeah. There's, that, there's other stuff in there. Hey guys. So it's looking like this might not work out. Yeah. I think there's a nest of vultures in here, and we got a big vulture that we now can't see. Hissing at us. Ooh, I think he's in the attic above you, man. Yeah. It sounds like he's inside. Yeah. Hold his up, Brian, to the right. Outside, you're good right now. That thing sounds evil, dude. I don't know where it's at. I don't either. I can't. Thought I heard something behind me. Do what? I I don't know. 
don't know, but that right there seems like it's pretty pissed so it might. Yeah, I imagine if any animal, if it had a nest, yeah. would probably defend it. That looks like a giant ass nest right there. You could see it. Looks yeah, like on the edge out. of the house over there looks like a big nest. On the edge of the roof. Yeah, right there. I can't tell where it's at. I can't either. Yeah, guys, you gotta get this video light. Yeah, very, very dangerous. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, he's being very nice right now. <laughs> <laughs> the things we go through, man. This is, this is a normal thing. So, hmm. I don't know. I, I'm I'm not a proponent to piss it off anymore, but yeah. I'll follow y'all's lead if y'all want to try it. I'll leave it up the ends. But uh, I don't know. I'm getting sign that thing attacked. <laughs> so, Grant, I think you're uh, a you little bit start, intimidated by this bird. You gonna start shooting? Because <laughs> things are mean. I think scared the and, uh, crap out of me. Yeah, I didn't know what happened. Yeah, dude. All I saw is he'll go up there and I saw something go and he jumps back and I was I, like I, I The sound it made. Dude, I thought that <coughs> like I thought I was done, man. I, I thought, yeah. okay, the freaking devil's got me. When I heard that hiss, I was like, Oh my god, a demon's got him. I'm out of here. Yeah. Alright guys, so this has been an interesting night. Um and I always try to like if there's animals nesting, I try not to disturb them because you never know. You don't want to, you know, mess up the ecosystem or their natural habitat. So we're not going to go inside the house, but that was interesting. And the sound that thing made was, ugh. Um, but anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching. And, and go check out Black Mass Paranormal. Um, he got some really good stuff on the thermal. And I'll link the video where they had the blood splatter all over that building, which I guess has washed off since then. But, uh... But guys, I appreciate you watching. Thank you for everything you do. And remember, if you want to further support this channel and see bonus content, click the join button down below, or you can join Patreon for that same content. But for now, guys, stay creepy, my friends.